poll from msnbc.com. Are you considering voting for the Libertarian Party nominee? And when I see this, you know, part of me is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a little suspicious. Like, hey, you know, is this is this too good to be true? Is this is this some some clickbaity thing that that MSNBC is is setting up where they're they're just trying to drive liber- like now you think about this if you're MSNBC and you want to distract libertarians with a meaningless poll like is, in and of itself is this poll going to get picked up by by other major media outlets with a a, a status bias no but uh you know msnbc gets to play this little trick on libertarians and be like look if we put out this poll and we make it really easy for people to say something pro-libertarian cj go ahead and click yes there on the poll in the graphic are you considering voting for the libertarian party nominee now i i mean i'm i'm, I'm kind of suspicious here right that like the language is soft which is good i mean that's like that it's being deliberately inclusive i like that but the, the libertarian party nominee doesn't say for president doesn't say joe jorgensen i think most of Amer- now we nominated a female great opportunity in the world of identity politics which i want nothing to do with other than winning them over away from that right but J- jo uh, you know, people would assume like that's a female name. I think in this day and age, that spelling is supposed to J O E. That if if MSNBC was trying to do libertarians a favor, I I you know I, I don't want to look a gift horse too hard in the mouth, but uh, that that might be what's happening here. Now, CJ, pull that up on full screen again. Uh, the, the the results of the poll because this is very exciting. Now, when I first saw this poll. A couple of days ago, it was a little bit lower than this, actually, for percentage. But it was only 30 or 3,000 something votes. Now, CJ, this is really, really exciting because now it's up to 85% with 44,000 votes. Now, this tells me a couple things. One, Libertarians have been whipping this poll. It's libertarians who are sharing this, who are excited about this. And I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to say, oh my gosh, so, you know, we're, are we being suckers for MSNBC driving traffic to their website saying to all of our friends who are considering at least, because they've heard us and they like us, they're our friends, we're libertarians, we're outspoken, and they, they'll listen to us. They consider voting for the Libertarian Party nominee. Now, in a sense, uh, we're also showing them something really beautiful that makes it look like the majority of Americans. And when you get it up to 44,000, yeah, it's an MSNBC poll about a libertarian. It's not a random sample, obviously. But it, it's a, wow, that's a big, now, at very least, cool, libertarians can muster you know, 30-something thousand votes out of 44,000 total votes to make 85%. Uh, you know, we can whip an online poll to 44,000? That's that's pretty big. That in and of itself is pretty, like, mm, next level stuff from where we were with, with Gary Johnson and Bill Weld as the nominees, I would think. So I would I, I'm sharing this because I, this is this is overall great news. Even with these like even with my suspicions. Well, what about this? Well, what about that? Well, could it be better like this? This is still great news, and it's an opportunity for you to share this poll with your friends. So please share this video, share this poll. But more importantly, let's take this as an opportunity to explain libertarianism to people who, for the first time, are going, "Oh, look at that! The majority of Americans are considering voting." For the libertarian presidential nominee, Dr. Joe Jorgensen. Uh, yeah. Well, why? What's <clears throat> what's libertarianism all about? Well, to be a libertarian first, you have to check one little box on our website to be a member of the party. It says, I oppose the use of force to achieve political or social goals. And that really is one of the foundational concepts of freedom and libertarianism. To say that whatever we are going to achieve in coming together as a society, it has to be peaceful, it has to be voluntary, 
It has to be cooperative. We can't force our will on anyone else. And in the libertarian statement of principles, it says where governments exist, they must be voluntary. It's a pretty powerful statement. And if you've never heard this before, it's because the dominant paradigm today is government by force, fraud and coercion, by violence, by violating individual rights. Libertarians are saying, no, we have to change that. Can't be it. Now, you might have heard of it as socially liberal, fiscally conservative, and that doesn't really sum it up at all because we're socially libertarian and fiscally libertarian. We apply the same principles in both areas of policy in a way that makes the whole left-right analysis completely irrelevant because libertarianism is not a political message. It's an ethical message. It's ethics applied to politics. Don't hit, don't steal, don't kill, not unless you're a cop, an IRS agent, or a soldier, or a politician writing some fancy law to justify unethical behavior. Unethical behavior is unethical whether you do it in the name of government or not. We have to make the world a better place by making it a more ethical place, by ending these evils of government. And that's why you should consider voting libertarian. But that's really why you should vote libertarian and why this is the best immediate path forward for America regardless of your personal aesthetics in your ideology. Because a libertarian is someone who says, you can be as liberal or as conservative as you want, as long as you don't force it on anybody. And what the Libertarian Party is offering America in 2020 is victory with principle. Dr. Joe Jorgensen has said that she would pardon everybody she possibly could as president for victimless crimes. That would be transformative. It would mean an end of the drug war. It would mean an end to involuntary taxation. It would mean an end to the Federal Reserve monopoly because you would be allowed to explore alternative currencies and market money that serves the people instead of the banks without being prosecuted by government under legal tender laws. What we are offering America is a real alternative from the duopoly. And what's the difference between Republicans and Democrats? It's kind of like the difference between going off a cliff at 70 miles an hour or 80 miles an hour. Elect Dr. Joe Jorgensen for president and Spike Cohen for vice president. And we can grab the steering wheel and go in a fundamentally different direction to avoid the disaster that the duopoly is setting us up for. So I'm very heartened by this poll to see that potentially 85% of Americans are considering voting libertarian. If enough of you now take the time to consider what it actually means to be a libertarian, well, I bet that most of you would agree with us. We need to stop the duopoly. And you'll vote libertarian in 2020. And we just might win this one.